Hi friends, today I will explain chemical kinetics topic. See here, in this chemical kinetics, this chemical kinetics topic under physical chemistry. This is most important topic for CSR net and uh, set and TS Genco. See, in uh, CSR net, uh, 4 marks question and 2 marks questions will come th from this topic. And uh, TS Genco also, we, will, uh, we can expect uh, 2 to 3 marks from this topic. Okay. In this uh, chemical kinetics, we have uh, so many topics, subtopics. In that, mainly we need to focus on focus on these four subtopics. See here, order orders of the reaction. In this orders of the reaction, we have rate constant equation and graphs and half lifetime and units. This four we need to focus on this orders order of the reaction. And next. Uh, Arrhenius equation and one more Lindemann's theory and one more Michaelis Menten's equation. These four, these four topics are most important, remaining also important. You need to focus on that also. Main strong focus on this one. Okay. We have to learn this these things minimum. Okay, from this topic. See here in this first I need to explain orders of the reaction uh, what is order uh, what is rate constant okay this many uh, terms basic terms terminology you need to know F first of all i need i explain about uh, the terminology which are using which are using in this topic okay now terminology basic terminology in this topic first of all we need to know about rate of reaction. We need to know about rate of reaction. See here, what is rate of reaction? Rate of reaction, okay, indicated by small r, small r, okay. See here, rate of reaction, rate of reaction deals with the speed of the reaction. See, the perfect definition for the rate of reaction is, rate of reaction is the decrease in concentration in reactant or the increase in concentration of product with respective time is called rate of reaction or we can say in simple manner, change in concentration of the reaction with respective time. Okay, for that, uh, for that, I am writing the equation for the rate, rate of reaction. See here, what I am saying, R is equal to change in concentration, change in concentration with respective time, with respective time. Okay, now, this concentration I am taking X, this is T. Now, change in concentration is DX change in time is dt change in time is dt okay this is the rate of the reaction by this we can say the units also concentration units are moles per liter moles per liter by time units second inverse or time inverse you can take okay this is the this is about rate of reaction this is simple terminology change in concentration with respect to time okay for example i am taking one reaction i am taking one reaction that is a is giving b a is giving b now according to reactant i am writing rate of reaction r is equal to change in concentration with respect to time but here we are keeping minus charge because always reactant concentration will decrease always react reactant concentration will decrease that's what we are keeping minus here according to product according to product formation now rate is equal to db by dt see here here we are keeping plus plus means increase in concentration of product this minus and plus minus and plus signs are indicating the uh, change change decreasing or increasing if it is decreasing means we need to keep minus charge if it is increasing means we need to keep plus sign this is about the rate of the reaction this is about rate of the 
reaction now let me explain rate equation rate equation what is rate equation this also important term this also one of the important term rate equation okay rate equation rate equation or rate law we can write as or rate law somebody call rate law also see here for this rate equation the simple definition is relation between relation between rate of the reaction with with the concentration of reactant concentration of reactant for example i am taking one reaction that is a is giving b a is giving b in this in this rate of rate of reaction is depending depending upon the co concentration of reactant now in terms of reactant we can write we can write the rate equation rate law that is d dx by dt dx by dt change in concentration with time here what i am saying here concentration concentration rate is directly proportional to its concentration we can keep one constant also dx by dt is equal to some constant into a some constant into concentration of a always always reactant concentration is directly proportional to rate of reaction or rate of reaction is directly proportional to reactant concentration if we increase the concentration of the reactant definitely rate of reaction will increase okay this is rate r is equal to dx by dt i am writing dx by dt always dx by dt i will indicate the rate see here dx by dt is directly proportional to a dx by dt equal to k a this is called rate equation this is called rate equation here one constant i have taken this is proportionality constant this constant is called rate constant this constant is called rate constant rate constant rate constant rate constant see here for this reaction this is the rate equation now i am taking one more reaction one more reaction example i am taking this one a a plus b b is giving c c plus d d see here for this reaction for this reaction what is the rate equation see here rate is directly proportional to rate means dx by dt rate is directly proportional to concentration of reactant see here if any constant is there we need to keep here okay power b to the power of b now we can write like this dx by dt is equal to some constant into a to the power of a b to the power of b see here this is the rate equation this is the rate equation for this for this reaction see here one more term i am explaining here only that is order of the reaction that is order of the reaction order what is order of the reaction see this is rate equation in this rate equation the sum of powers of concentration terms what are the concentration terms here a and b a and b are the concentration terms now the sum of powers of concentration terms me means uh, here a and b summation means a plus b now order equal to a plus b for this reaction for this reaction this is the order this order may be fraction whole number okay uh, fraction and whole number okay now now see here this is this is rate of reaction and rate equation one example i am giving for a rate rate of reaction okay rate of reaction a a plus b b this is previous question previous question okay 
A A B B is giving B B is giving C C plus D D. For this, for this rate, for this rate equal to rate equal to according to reactant. I am writing minus one by A. Here some constant there, no? That's what we are writing the, like this one. D A by D T. Now same according to B reactant. B reactant one by B D B by D T. Now according to C product one by C. Place here because this is product. D C by D T and one by D D concentration D by D T. This is the rate of reaction for this reaction okay the uh, in this manner we we can write the rate of reaction for example problem see here example problem 2a plus b is giving 3c plus 3c plus d okay rate of reaction rate of reaction uh, in terms of a and c a and c i am asking how to how to write uh, rate of reaction here rate equal to rate equal to minus 1 by 2 1 by 2 da by dt equal to 1 by 3 dc by dt okay in this manner in this manner we can write if they ask uh, this value we need to write da by dt is equal to minus 2 by 3 dc by dt okay in this manner they can ask questions also okay this is most important one these two terms are most important uh, they may ask indirect questions from this uh, rate of reaction and rate equation order and Marie Curie. these two terms we need to learn see here already I explained the order differentiation what is that sum of powers of concentration term in rate equation already I explained that one here molecularity Male molecularity is the number of molecules involved in rate determining step rate determining step now for example I am writing a is giving B and that is giving C and that is giving D here B to C is the rate determining step B to C is the rate determining step see here in this B to C is the rate determining step means the molecules involved in rate determining step. This how many molecules are involved? That may be molecules, ions, whatever it may be. Okay. Here B only one is involved in rate determining step. That's what here molecularity is one for this reaction. In this way, we can calculate the molecularity. Okay. And before that, what is rate determining step then? The slow step of the reaction. The slow step of the reaction is called rate determining step. The slow step of the reaction is called rate determining step. See here, in this order and molecularity looking same, these two terms are looking same, but so many difference, differences are there in these two terms. See here, order always depends on the concentration change but molecularity does not depends on concentration change now order may be zero or whole number or fraction but uh, molecularity always whole number only and order obtained experimentally but molecularity obtained theoretically molecularity obtained theoretically these are the differences between order and molecularity see here one more one more term there that is pseudo order reaction pseudo order reactions means pseudo order reaction one more term that is pseudo order reaction pseudo order reaction pseudo order reaction see here now i explained order and molecularity terms uh, many cases in many cases order and molecularity both are same in many cases order equal to molecularity but in some cases in some cases order 
and molecularity both the values are different that reactions are called pseudo order reaction that means order molecularity will not same will not same both are not equal order not equal to molecularity that reactions are called pseudo order reaction that in that we can ex uh, uh, for example hydrolysis hydrolysis ester hydrolysis process ester hydrolysis process suppose ch3 coo c2h5 is giving c2h5 is giving h2o plus h2o now ch3 cooh plus c2h5oh see here in this how many molecules are involving two molecules are involving how many molecules are involving two molecules are involving but order always depends upon only one term so molecularity is two and order is one for this reaction order and molecularity both are different that's what this is called pseudo order reaction this is called pseudo order reaction